Would you, my good friend, like to learn about the biggest underwater tunnel in the world? The Femarn Belt Tunnel is an amazing engineering feat that will connect two countries and is unlike anything that you've ever seen before. Get ready to learn about this incredible project that's changing the face of Europe and Scandinavia forever. Welcome to the Seeker's Edge, where we seek knowledge that'll give you an edge in life. Let's begin. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link is a proposed tunnel that will connect the Danish island of Lolland with the German island of Femarn in the Baltic Sea. The link is expected to provide a direct road and rail connection between the two countries, reducing travel time and improving transportation efficiency. The purpose of the Femarn Belt Fixed Link is to improve connectivity between Denmark and Germany and enhance economic and cultural ties between the two countries. The link is expected to bring several benefits including reduced travel time for passengers and goods, increased efficiency and competitiveness for the transportation system, improved accessibility for tourism, and reduced congestion and emissions from road and air transport. The estimated cost of the Femarn Belt Fixed Link is around 7 billion euros, with the majority of the financing expected to come from the private sector, through a public-private partnership model. The Danish and German governments also have agreed to provide significant funding for the project. The expected completion date for the Femarn Belt Fix Link is 2030. The construction is expected to take several years, with work beginning in 2023. The project is considered to be one of the largest infrastructure projects in Europe, and is expected to have a significant impact on the economies of both Denmark and Germany. It's a major undertaking for Germany and Denmark, but how did it all start? The original plans for the Femarn Belt Fix Link called for the construction of a bridge between the two islands. The bridge was to be approximately 18 kilometers long and would have featured a combination of viaducts, embankments, and tunnels to cross the shallow waters of the Femarn Belt. The original plans also included the construction of a new road and rail connections to link the bridge with existing transportation networks in both Denmark and Germany. Despite the original plans for a bridge, the Femarn Belt Fixed Link project underwent a change in plans, with a decision being made to construct a tunnel solution instead. This decision was made in response to environmental concerns and the desire to minimize the impact of the project on the local marine system. The tunnel solution proposed involves the construction of a 17-kilometer-long tunnel that will run beneath the Femarn Belt. The tunnel will be designed to allow for the passage of road and rail traffic and will include two separated tubes, one for road traffic and one for rail traffic. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link Tunnel will be designed to meet the latest safety and technical standards with a focus on sustainability and environmental protection. The tunnel will be constructed using the latest tunneling technology, including the use of tunnel boring machines and the latest ventilation and fire safety systems. The tunnel will also feature state-of-the-art road and rail systems, and with the road tunnel expected to feature two lanes in each direction and the rail tunnel featuring a single track. The tunnel will be designed to accommodate both freight and passenger traffic, with the rail tunnel also being designed to accommodate high-speed trains. Let's dive a little deeper into the reasons why they decided to go for a tunnel instead of a bridge. The switch from a bridge to a tunnel was made due to a variety of factors, including concerns about the environmental impact of you know, a bridge and the potential disruption of shipping lanes and wildlife in the area. The tunnel solution was seen as more environmentally friendly of an option that would have less impact on the surrounding area. The switch to the tunnel solution took place in the early stages of the project after initial plans for the Femarn Belt Bridge were de developed. The decision was made after careful consideration and consultation with stakeholders, including environmental groups and local communities. The timeline for the construction of the tunnel solution is expected to take several years, with the project expected to be completed by 2030. The exact timeline will depend on a number of factors, including the availability of funding, the permitting process, and the complexity of the construction work. With all the planning being done, who's actually paying for this tunnel? The Femarn Belt Tunnel Project was boosted by significant funding and support from the European Union as part of the organization's efforts to support the development of infrastructure and transportation links across the continent. The Danish government submitted an application for grants from the European Commission. This was a necessary step to ensure that the project would receive the necessary funding to be completed as planned. In 2015, the project was awarded 589 million euros from the European Commission. This funding helped to kickstart the construction process and get the necessary resources in place. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link project is considered one of the largest infrastructure projects in Europe, with a planned length of 19 kilometers, making it the longest immersed tunnel in the world. 
it's comparable to other large-scale infrastructure projects, like the Oresund Bridge connecting Denmark and Sweden and the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge in China. These projects have also aimed to improve transportation links between the two regions and boost economic growth in the surrounding areas. There are, of course, challenges to such a massive undertaking. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link project faced legal challenges regarding the state aid provided for the project. In 2019, the European Court of Justice ruled that the state aid provided by Denmark for the project was in compliance with the European Union state aid and rules. The ruling stated that the aid was justified to compensate for the specific characteristics of the project and the benefits it would bring to the EU as a whole. When can we expect this all to finish? As of 2023, the construction of the Femarn Belt Fix Link is ongoing, with a project completion date in 2030. The tunnel excavation has been completed and the work on the underground facilities and connecting roads is underway. The project has received significant support from the EU, as well as private investors, and is expected to have a positive impact on the economy and transportation links between Denmark and Germany. Despite the legal challenges faced by the project, the construction of the Femarn Belt Fix Link remains on track and is expected to be a major milestone in European infrastructure development. To wrap everything up, the Femarn Belt Fix Link project aims to connect the Danish island of Lolland with the German island of Femarn through a tunnel, making it the longest immersed tunnel in the world. The tunnel will provide a direct road and rail connection between the two countries, reducing travel time and improving accessibility. The project will also include the construction of artificial island bridges, as well as viaducts, as well as the upgrading of existing infrastructure. The Femarn Belt Fix Link project has the potential to revolutionize transportation in Europe and Scandinavia. The direct road and rail connection will facilitate the exchange of goods, people, and ideas between the two regions, providing new opportunities for trade, tourism, and cultural exchange. Additionally, the reduced travel time will boost productivity, lower transportation costs, and improve the quality of life for residents in both countries. With the completion of the Femarn Belt Fixed Link project, Europe and Scandinavia will be better connected, leading to increased economic growth and greater interconnectivity. The tunnel will become an important hub for the transportation of goods and people, serving as a gateway between the two regions. The project also sets the stage for further development in the region, potentially attracting new businesses and investments. In the long term, the Femarn Belt Tunnel has the potential to become a defining feature of the European transportation landscape, providing a sustainable and efficient mode of transportation for generations to come. And that's about it for today. So share your thoughts about the tunnel in the comments with us below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe to The Seeker's Edge. Until next time.